In Redondo Beach, California, on a quiet suburban street, lives 45-year-old Anthony Toth. To his neighbors, Anthony appears like a regular guy, but none of them know about the secret passion that he keeps behind closed doors. What's behind this door is perhaps the most significant thing in my collection. To the people that live on the same street as me, this is a garage. But to me, it's the Pan Am 747. Although Pan Am ceased operations back in 1991, Anthony has been on a mission to recreate the Pan Am flying experience in the comfort of his own home. He has built an exact replica of the first class cabin in his 625 square foot garage. What I really desire is to be a part of what actually was the Pan Am cabin of the 1970s and 80s. In this overhead bin, I keep a lot of cabin supplies like socks, eye shades, and extra headsets. This is an original seatbelt sign and no smoking sign. I knew when I saw them, I wanted to add them to my cabin. Not only does Anthony's aircraft have working seatbelt signs, but he has gone to great lengths to be prepared for any in-flight emergency. But Anthony's biggest challenge was searching the world for 18 matching first-class seats. And even though they are 30 years old, they are in perfect working condition. They actually have the Pan Am logo still on the seatbelts. But by today's standards, no one would actually want a first-class seat like this. They were manual footrests that you had to pull out. 